He's gone. Nope, here he is. With the crossbow. We don't have a crossbow in the game. It's not historically accurate. Yeah. He's also dead. Oh no. No worries. He's gone. Nah, he's actually there. Yes. Welcome. To Assassin's Creed. Now, as you may see from my new visual upgrade, I'm pretty much a veteran at this series, and seeing how we will finally have a game set in feudal Japan, finally, we were requesting it for years, for years, basically from the beginning, it's finally coming, and I'm scared about it I'm really scared about it I don't know what to expect with this whole AC Infinity stuff it might be just a launcher it might be something worse I, I don't know it's really uncertain editing Shiro here so while I was editing this video Ubisoft announced that they will release the cinematic trailer for AC Shadows which we knew before as AC Codename Red, on this Wednesday. Which is great, I guess I have a pretty impeccable timing. Anyway, let's continue the video. But anyway, I thought that this might be the perfect time to play through all AC games. Not only because I want to show you how much I love this series, but as an old fan, I also want to show you how much of a disappointment some of the later titles can be. Anyway, we will get there someday. But before we start though, I have a question for all of you. Do you have a favorite AC game? If you do, leave them down in the comments below, I'm genuinely curious about that. Also, if you want to follow me through this journey, you could drop a like or even subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. But anyway, let's start the game. Oh yeah, before we actually start this game, I have to tell you, there are no subtitles. Relax. Can't you see the faceless people? Finally. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. 
Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Okay, then. A wise decision. It's the only option I had, Doctor. Hey Lucy. You're inside the hey, Doc. Which is it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. Did you know that she has the same voice as Anna from Frozen? Oh no, not this tutorial. When you start... An Assassin's Creed game usually the first hour is the worst I'm not joking this tutorial takes around 10 15 minutes and it's the most hand-holding tutorial I've ever played so we will be back a few minutes later you have successfully completed the tutorial finally the memory block will now be loaded god this tutorial is so tiring hate it hate it wait anyway there must be another way this one need not die <laughs> That was a civilian, by the way. Excellent cue. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. Or I game I'll try to do that. Everything the masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of my way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. 
What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. I really love how everyone has an accent except our dear Altair here. Anyway. As you could have guessed from this conversation, Altair is not really a nice person. He's pretty much an asshole, at least at the moment. Hey man, at least you are not a civilian. Hey boy, sorry for this. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There, that must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! And the here he is. The, sooner we possess it, the bold the man. We turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Told you he's an asshole. Anyway, let's kill that guy. Hold, Templars! You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. You could have and what killed is it him you so want? easily. Fuck you, Altair. No, ah. You deserved that. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Men, to arms! Kill the assassins! Guess we have to run. By the way, this part reminds me so much of Prince of Persia. That's another series I should play on this channel. I love those games too. Maybe a bit more than AC. There it is. And that's it. Altair, okay, now this is better. Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. I need to go to the castle, which is this way. There it is. That's our HQ, basically. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. 
Yeah, as you can see, both Altair, both Abbas are assholes. We will see Abbas a bit more in the future. It is an honor. Yeah, at least this guy. The master waits within. At least these guys are kind. Altair, master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Oh. Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. So, as you can see, we fucked up big time. The bold guys here. It's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Now, Ace... Okay, again. Now, Ace One's combat is really... Hard, really? No, not really. You just have to push buttons. Not like this. Well, not right. You can do this, and you can deflect all the attacks, and you, and if you time it just right, you can do a freaking insta kill. See? Easy. It's kind of fun, though. Being such a badass that you can fucking kill an enemy with one hit. Let us go here. Alright, that... I guess me going there had no fucking point at all. I completely forgot that point. Not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. 
Alright. Ah, it's time. Now, those who ever played at least one Assassin's Creed game know what will happen now. Heretic! I turn what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! It is time to jump. Yes. Oh. oh my leg. Ah, oh, oh my leg. Quiet. But the Templars will hear us. We will come this way. I'll stay behind and tend to you. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we set. Go and release the easier in low profile. I'm gonna show you how much you need low profile for this. This was all high profile. You don't need to stay in low profile for that. And if we just cut this. He saved the His village. Yay! It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's don't know what temple was with the here, camera. All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has ah. told me of the arrogance you displayed. My Your mouse disregard moved. for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Uh oh. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade from the flesh of an innocent. I know. And stay Ooh, your tongue. What the bitch slap. To use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet. Then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The kind. second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with Oops, the crowd. Oops, I missed that. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Got this one. meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I'm sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. 
This was a long game. Thank you guys for watching and no, I'm just joking with you. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. It took this long only because of that fucking tutorial. Anyway. Time for everyone's favorite section in these games. The modern story part. What should we do? What should we do? Let's check out our room. What's in here? This is where we need to come. Can I go back or what's gonna happen now? That would be a bit more fun. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. Oh. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Eh, wanted to have a bit more fun, but all right. Let's go and sleep. Lock the door. Is there something more? Sorry, I'm just trying to find some interactions here because if I remember right, you can interact with more stuff, not just. That's just a bed, right? Yep, that's just a bed. Let's continue. Death's embrace. It's a miracle. You saw what I wanted you to see, and then you slept the sleep of the dead. Told you it's a, a miracle. Moon, that you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I'm offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. 
others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. So, as you can see, we've lost everything. We are back to be a simple fucking novice. Don't even have a weapon. Oh well. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. So what we need to do now... Is that we will just sit down here. And as, they, as those guys are talking, we will just focus on them. I know what I saw. Husun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. So our next point of interest is the basket weaver. Who's here. And I'm too close so I'm gonna do this. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I, I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. So what we need to do right now is that we need to close to get close to him while pressing B and we got the letter. Our next point of interest is to find the guy, this Masoon, who is not here, but I can hear him. There he is. I see the way you look at me. Hear the things you say. A traitor. I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mualim who's betrayed us. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Hmm. Are you sure about that, buddy? Let's go to a secluded place. The 
Hey man, you were speaking a lot of shit lately. Did you say motherfucker? Speak quickly then. I have no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. That a sword. And got the hidden blade back. That's something. Oh no, he's here. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. I know how to deflect. Thank you, Liam. Ten minutes later. Let us go to our first mission. First actual assassination mission. This is the kingdom. This is basically the 
region that connects all the cities together. I'm gonna do this tower because the towers are important in this game. That's how you can see the whole map. Yes, this was the game that started the whole trend of climbing towers just to see a map. Nothing. Fuck off. No. What the fuck? Five minutes later. And we're back. Sorry everyone, for some reason it crashed. It just crashed on me. We'll just go through those gates. And that's it. Yes. We are here. Don't hurt me, please. We uh, are the true children of uh, God. Work. Uh, 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 camera, please. I won't forget it. No problem, friend. Now we need, we need to get into the city, but it's guarded. But because we have that guy, we can just come here and press the A button. While I'm holding it, I can go in freely with these guys. I'm gonna go with them with a little... I'm gonna go with them for a little while now. And... Stop. Thank you, friend. We're in. First we need to do... Is we need to go to the Assassin Bureau. For this we should check out the first tower. Oh yes, you can collect these flags as a side mission, but we're not gonna collect them. First Tower of Damascus. There are nine within this district. I'm gonna help this man. We're pretty close to one of the informants, so... I think we should do this first before we go to the bureau. Also, there's an informant pretty close. I wanna check this. Let's do that one. It's pretty close. Yes, this is kind of the game loop. Get some information. Then go and kill the target. That's it. That goes on for nine targets. Oh, there's that window. I want to show you that one because that's an Easter egg. 
This window looks like a truck. This is actually a reference to Optimus Prime from Transformers. He's here. All right. Hey, man. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you're looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. Now, I'm not very sure because I always played this game on PC. But this is the so-called director's cut. Which means that if I know where the original Xbox 360 and PS3 versions had less of a variety in these missions, I think. I'm not pretty sure, but I think that's the case. Come on, Altair, please move a bit faster, just a little bit. Thank you, mate. I don't know how I did that. What? Hey, friend. So they've sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. Right. Oh, and our investigation is already complete. Well, I wanted to go to the bureau, but I guess we actually have to go to the bureau now. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said. I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you've searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor, and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. I thought this place is gonna be guarded or something. Can I sit down somewhere? That would help me a lot. Let me use some so-called social stuff. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. This now, tell me, is our target. What do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much and the destination. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in the return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? Please, Tamir, I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Don't. 
take this down YouTube, this is just a game. Well, this isn't how I wanted to do it, but all right. A bit jank, but still done. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Rest in peace, Tamir. And now, we run. This one fucking guy. Was able to run after me for this long. Now that's dedication. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malik. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. I still need to kill nine, nine, eight people. Of course. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.